Stakes winner Blackadder recently transferred from the barn of Bob Baffert to Rodolphe Brissette. A strong performance by the son of Quality Road in this weekend's Bluegrass Stakes could make him the first Kentucky Derby starter for his up-and-coming trainer. Blackadder has been with us uh, for about three weeks um, and uh, we were able to breeze him to ice and uh, looks like he's doing pretty good and uh, you know, we're, happy, we're happy the way he's coming up to the race. He's average size but uh, pretty, pretty stocky horse, um, you know, uh, pretty nice mover and all around he's a very easy horse to be around, you know, he, he's a pretty, pretty cool customer. Quality road out of, out of a pulpit mare, so um, if, the, if the, the track may, may end up being still and sloppy, I think we, looking at this pedigree, we may be, we may be okay there. The, the maiden win was very impressive uh, visually. Now I think we have to put, uh, put back everything in context. It was, a, it was a, a race of the turf and Mr. Buffer decided to run him uh, up in, in Golden Gate. Uh, and it looks like he, he, won, uh, he won pretty nice. I mean, not, not with a big margin, but um, looks like after the, after the wire, he got up out, uh, he, he keep on going. So, you know, um, Saturday is gonna be pretty tough. You know, we gotta have to, to step up, but uh, you know, we gotta try. Jeff Ripley is, uh, I, I didn't like the draw, obviously, and people are gonna laugh when I say that because he drew the 11. So um, here in a, in a bluegrass on Saturday, but I think the, the complex of the, the complex of the race is a little bit different. You know, it looks like obviously all the, all the speed are on the inside of us. Um, and, um, and, you know, it's a, it's a great one. And we train for that group uh, of uh, ownership uh, where uh, they, they're looking to try to win grade one with those, those Colts, you know, they, they, it's a very good group of, of owner and they, they have a, a program where we, you know, we want to try to the win grade one and make stallions. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it was an easy decision. Yugiri, uh, she uh, she's back home with us. It was uh, it was a long uh, a long battle in a stretch uh, in a fantasy, but uh, she digged in very hard and uh, she definitely uh, you know we're pretty pretty proud of her. Obviously, the the ownership wants to take a shot at the Oaks, and I don't, I'm not gonna say no. You know, it's uh, it's uh, it just makes sense to to try to, to go there. You you gotta be in a gate to have a chance to win it. So I came here in 05, 2005 and. Uh, I work for Mr. Bianconi for uh, almost two years, and then uh, uh, make a make a move, uh, switch to uh, uh, Bill Mott, uh, who uh, everybody know, uh, you know, is a Hall of Fame trainer and, and a very very good trainer and a very good person. I went on my own in 2017, and so it's been five years, and um, you know, it was not easy every day, but um, you know, we uh, you know we try to try to maximize to get you know the best group of horses we can get. And you know I've been lucky all my life to get on a lot of good horses uh, since I'm since I was 16. So um, you know when when you know when you know the feeling of a good one, um, you just try to find another one, you know find another one with the same feeling. So in the same time, I guess I can use my uh, all all the experience I got over the years. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.